This video is brought to you by the movie London Has Fallen, starring Gerard Butler, Aaron Eckhart, Morgan Freeman, and Angela Bassett. See it in theaters starting March 4th. Buckle up, lock yourself in, and enjoy the ride. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 greatest action movie stars. Yeah, but you should have brought more men. For this list, we're focusing specifically on the greatest male action movie stars. But hold up a minute before you hit the comments section, because we already have a video for the most badass female movie characters. Make sure to check that one out next. Number 10. Dwayne The Rock Johnson when you're as big as this WWE icon, literally and figuratively, it only makes sense to explore a higher stage. You are my love. After a couple of early notable performances in legitimate box office hits, The Rock showed off his natural ability to mix comedy and action in the vastly underrated 2003 flick, The Rundown. Float like butterfly. Sting like bee. Since then, Dwayne Johnson has mostly managed to transcend the hokey cliches usually involved with being a wrestler turned actor, largely thanks to his unique role selections and certainly by holding it down with the Fast and the Furious franchise. He's a master of comedic timing, and the overall package produces hard-earned, if not easy money, at the box office. Number 9. Jean-Claude Van Damme. You want me to break my leg? Let's face it, if you were an adolescent male growing up in the 80s and didn't have at least a couple of Van Damme films on tape, you should have your man card immediately revoked. Looks like she's mine. Now leave the lady alone. You understand that? From the days of Bloodsport <laughs> and Kickboxer <laughs> to the early to mid 90s, JCVD was simply the big swinging ass kicker of martial arts films, roundhousing everybody brave enough to stand in his way. And sure, the high flying techniques seemingly lost a bit of mojo over the years, but Van Damme has never stopped doing what he does best. <laughs> Regardless of whether or not you want to shell out a couple of bucks to see him whoop that ass. So, what's it going to be? Given his latest collection of badass roles, Jean-Claude Van Damme only seems to get better with age, strange as that may seem. J'y crois. C'est pas un film. C'est une réalité. Number 8. Clint Eastwood. You see, in this world, there's two kinds of people, my friend. Those with loaded guns. Dig. You dig. If you're not familiar with this man's iconic spaghetti western roles, then you're about to get schooled on the art of manliness. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Okay, now that we've addressed the obvious classics, let's move on to 70s era Clint Eastwood, where he continuously shamed fellow action stars with his own unique way of shaking and bacon. Yeah, old Clint ain't the most agile of movie stars, but you don't need to have cat-like speed and reflexes to show dudes who's boss. Plain few problems can't be solved with a little sweat and hard work. This guy will not only strategically hunt down movie villains to no end, but he will take a little bit of their soul as well. Stop this cockamamie shit now, will you? Here's the deal. Any actor should jump at the opportunity to be on the receiving end of an Eastwood scowl. I'm not paid for that. Number 7. Harrison Ford. Pokey religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side, kid. Han Solo, Indiana Jones, Rick Deckard. That's what you're getting with a late 70s, early 80s Harrison Ford binge watch. I'm from the uh, Confidential Committee on Moral Abuses. Those roles alone are enough to land him a place on our list. But then you have 90s Harrison Ford, with all his gruff voiced antics, saving the world time and again in breathtaking fashion. How are you gonna get away, huh? Want to go for the other knee? But don't be fooled by Father Time, because Harrison Ford can still hold his own alongside younger action heroes. I don't give a shit what his name is. I don't like him. And you can damn sure appreciate whenever Harrison gets all emotional after handling the appropriate or inappropriate amount of business. I'm not even here. And then it's back to work. It's true. All of it. 
Number six, Tom Cruise. I feel the need, the need for speed. In his early years, this leading man dominated the box office with his boyish good looks and undeniable charm. But then, Tom Cruise went full beast mode with the Mission Impossible franchise. Live, die, repeat. This is Ethan Hunt. They're dead. This man essentially spits in the face of all those who dare challenge his continuing relevance, as the 2010s have unleashed ride-or-die Tom Cruise, a man unwilling to slow down into a life of cheesy rom-coms. Not everybody takes him seriously, but hey, Cruz doesn't take himself too seriously. <laughs> there he, okay, there he is. There he, Go okay. have fun. In other words, you'll never see this dude trying to score an interview with El Chapo. He's got other work to do. Number five, Jackie Chan. <laughs> Here's an inspiration for all you vertically challenged mojoholics, as this man represents the human embodiment of dynamite. <laughs> Developing his stuntman skills in 60s Hong Kong cinema, Jackie Chan exploded in the late 70s, presenting an alternative style to the great Bruce Lee. And his 1980 film, The Young Master, marked the arrival of a new Hong Kong icon. <laughs> With the Hollywood OG Buster Keaton providing the foundation for Chan's comedic aesthetics, he ultimately made the trip to Tinseltown and grinded it out by performing his own stunts. He's famously kicked it with both Chris Tucker and Owen Wilson. You kill my uncle. Ball! While never failing to provide jaw dropping and comedic displays of kung fu brilliance. How long have you been in this country? Four days. Nice work. Number four, Bruce Lee. Beat it or I'll kill you. For years, this legend studied under the Wing Chun master known as Yip Man. And by the time Bruce Lee began doing work on the big screen, he had audiences saying, damn. For real though, Bruce Lee's quickness and technique was a thing to behold. And you just have to wonder how one actually reached that level of supreme badassery. Bruce Lee came, he saw, and he conquered. And just like Kaiser Soze, poof, he was gone. Fortunately, Bruce Lee left us with a handful of films that became immediate classics upon release and are still must-sees for any self-respecting fan of action movies. You have offended my family and you have offended a Shaolin temple. Number three, Bruce Willis. Believe it or not, there was once a time when this man was known mainly for moonlighting and something called The Return of Bruno. But then, Bruce Willis stepped into the role of John McClane, a brooding detective that had no patience for criminal shenanigans. yippee ki motherfucker. Of course, Bruce Willis topped his diehard role with the Tarantino classic Pulp Fiction, and most film critics agree that this was the time when Bruce decided that he was gonna blow stuff up until he was good and ready to quit. That's how you gonna beat him, Butch. Keep on the rest of me. He's still going and we're still watching because one does not simply walk away from this kind of cinematic magic. If anything happens to Sarah, I will rip everything you love out of your life. And then I'll kill you. Number two, Sylvester Stallone. I don't know, I was, uh, think about fight. Think about this, Mojoholics. By 1982, Sly Stallone had already flexed his creative muscles with Rocky, Rocky II, and Rocky III. And it was only then when he pulled out a long sword of justice and gave us a taste of first blood. I could have killed them all. I could have killed you. In telling you the law, I hear it's me. Don't push it. As John Rambo, Sylvester Stallone escaped the trappings of a lasting Rocky persona and proved that he could pepper in the occasional action film as well. You're gonna regret this the rest of your life. Both seconds of it. In fact, for the entirety of the 90s, Stallone established himself as the driving force of the modern action film. Good night. Capitalizing on genre cliches and always staying true to popcorn thrills. <laughs> 
unlike his fellow cohorts, he continues to keep movie villains in check. Are you crazy? Could've killed me! You're welcome. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Welcome to Earth. Come to America. I'll give an H Number one, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Conan, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of your women. Straight out of Austria and born to blow your mind, this movie monstrosity takes the cake when it comes to kicking ass and taking names. Just pick your poison. The Terminator. I'll be back. Predator. You're one ugly motherfucker. Total Recall. We're married doesn't really matter because nothing will ever change the fact that Arnold Schwarzenegger gets down like nobody else, at least in the landscape of action cinema. <laughs> Has Arnold ever quit making films? Hell no. And he'll continue on until there are no other baddies to conquer. Only an idiot would do this job. Love him or hate him, nobody can deny the power of a well-placed Arnold Zinger. You can't do that. Wrong. And he's by far the most iconic action movie star that Hollywood has ever produced. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? I ought to kill you right now. Who's your favorite action movie star? How freaking awesome was that, huh? Huh? For more mind blowing top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It's over! Nothing is over! Nothing! This video is brought to you by the movie London Has Fallen, starring Gerard Butler, Aaron Eckhart, Morgan Freeman, and Angela Bassett. See it in theaters starting March 4th.